Hi everybody, Bean Meister 22 here. Hey, today we're going to do something really cool. We are going to make perfect hard-boiled eggs. That's right, hard-boiled eggs. Everybody loves hard-boiled eggs. Whether you're just going to eat them as a hard-boiled egg, or slice them up in a salad, make deviled eggs. I love deviled eggs, but that's way too much effort, you know, that I want to put into it. And instead of boiling these eggs in a pot, which is just so much, God, it's just a hassle, I'm going to use my Elite Cuisine Egg Cooker. Perfect eggs every time. If you've never used an egg cooker before, they are amazing because you put the eggs in there. You put some water in there. They measure out to exactly how much water you need to put in, whether you want soft boiled eggs, medium boiled eggs, hard boiled eggs. Plug it in, turn it on, and then just wait for, well in this case, the buzzer to go off. The earlier models of this didn't have a buzzer, it had a timer, so it automatically shuts off when the water's done, so your eggs are perfect every time. But this one also has an annoying buzzing sound. Yeah. You don't have to sit here staring at it. You don't have to stir it around and crack the eggs as they're boiling in a pot. You know, the ones on the bottom of the pot get burned, because, you know, whatever you're hard-boiling eggs in a pot. Or a large pan. Here's how it is. Man, I'm going to boil as many eggs as possible, because it's such a hassle and a pain. I'm going to boil as many as I can fit in there. And then you got some that are like sticking out of the water and the ones on the bottom get burnt. And oh, it's nothing like a good, fresh, hot, out of the cooker, hard boiled egg. Now these egg cookers run from around $15 to $20. I did buy a really super cheap one for $11.99 on Amazon. It was some weird off brand. It burnt the eggs, and then two eggs exploded, and then it was just a mess everywhere. It was just horrible. I filmed it because I was going to say, hey, here's a you know $11 egg cooker. And I don't even remember if I saved the video because I was just pretty upset. Threw the thing away. So here's how they work. Well, there's actually... So really, there's how they're supposed to work and then how they work. So you take the eggs. You place them on the egg tray. Now, it has seven slots. You don't have to fill all the slots up. But really, seven slots, talk about an oddball number, eggs come in sixes, twelves, eighteens, twenty-fours, you know, multiples of six, and this cooks seven? I mean, I've cooked two or three in here before and it was fine, but still, seven? You have the handy measuring cup. And if you want a soft-boiled egg, you put in just a little water. If you want a medium-boiled egg, you put in a little more water. And if you want a hard-boiled egg, you put in to the top line. Later on, we can make another video showing the difference of the hard, soft, and medium boiled eggs. But, you know, I just love the hard boiled eggs. Now, on the bottom of this measuring thing, you pop the bottom off, there's a little poker. You're supposed to take this and jam it in to the top of each egg so there's a little vent hole so the egg doesn't explode. At first, I did it all the time, and then I kind of would forget half the time. Now, I just plain don't do it. Could the egg explode? Well, probably not. It's going to be within the container the lid's on, so the egg probably isn't going to explode and doing real damage, right? But what tends to happen if you do poke the hole in the top, sometimes egg stuff comes out of that top hole. I mean, what the heck was the point of that? But if you do follow the instructions, you're supposed to poke the little holes in the top. So you put the eggs in the tray. Shh, make it a video. You poke the hole. Shh, quiet, beans, I'm making a video. You poke the holes in the top of the egg, put in the water, plug it in, turn it on, and then you just wait for the timer to go off and for the egg cooker to shut off on its own. Beans, I'm making a video. Hush it. Yeah, I think she wants some hard-boiled eggs too. Man. Shh. Now, if you're using these eggs for a meal or something else, you could be doing, you know, whatever preparations you need to do for the other part of the meal as these eggs are cooking. Like I said, you don't have to sit here and babysit it. And this is kind of funny. This is the hundredth time I've used this, but this is the second video I've made, and I've never really timed how long it takes. Now, clearly, whether you're doing hard, medium, or soft-boiled egg is going to be a different, you know, cook time. Because what happens is, once the water boils all the way off, it probably, I don't know, registers the difference in temperature on the hot plate part of it and the heating element, and then it shuts off. But I really don't know how long it takes because, like I said, it's set and forget. I put it in there, push the button, walk away, and wow, eggs. And then the other thing, you got to remember, these things are hot. It's just like they came out of a boiling pot. You're basically, basically, you're basically steaming these eggs, and they are hot, and you will burn yourself. So now, I always use tongs to take the eggs out, put them in the bowl, and then put them under cold running water. But, you know, 
you touch them on the outside, and they're still warm, but you say, oh, you know, I think they're good enough. Then you peel them, and then they get hotter and hotter. And you go, Ow! So, yeah, you got to make sure you run them under that cold water to chill them long enough. But, oh, there is nothing like a freshly hard-boiled egg. Oh, I love these things. All right, so for real-time, real video, we are just going to let this thing go. And I probably isn't going to say much, hopefully, until this timer goes off and then we know the eggs are done. Gosh, I'm just looking forward to hard-boiled eggs now. Forget about filming it. I want some eggs. All right, so I'll talk to you in a little bit.
and the alarm has gone off. If you remember this, ow, wow, that is hot. Remember, this newer model has actual alarm where the other one didn't, but remember, they both shut off, so you don't have to worry about anything weird, you know, happening. Well, I mean, I guess something weird could happen. It could short out, but we're not going to talk about that because it shuts off when the water's done. Perfect eggs every time. Whoa, they are hot. When I say perfect eggs every time, I mean... Perfect eggs every time. Now remember, last time we did this, I almost burnt myself because I didn't use tongs. This time I'm going to use tongs in a bowl and then we're going to run cold water over them. Ooh, these are hot. Run some cold water on them. Hot, 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 hot eggs. Hot eggs. Let me just tell you this. I love these instant egg cookers. The first one I bought was this brand, the Elite Cuisine. It was this brand, but it was an earlier model. Like I said, didn't have the timer and I think it was $11.99 at Amazon I think I paid $15 for this I've seen it as high as $19.99 and as low as the $11.99 for this brand I did film a video a couple months ago I don't even know if I kept it or if I deleted it I used one of the off-brand yeah if such a thing even cheaper one that I think it was like $5.99 at Amazon and all the eggs exploded and it burnt it was just yeah so it, it was not as good you know that extra few dollars you know that'll do the trick now remember from a uh, previous video I mentioned that you are supposed to take the bottom of the measuring cup it, there's a poker thing you're supposed to poke the top of each egg so it doesn't explode you know I have done that and then I have not done that sometimes when you do that a little bit of egg stuff will bubble out the top. You know, I don't know how important that is. I've never had one of these eggs explode. And really, maybe 20% of the time do I actually poke the holes in the top of the eggs? So, yeah. All right, so we got cold water running on these eggs. Let's see if they are cool enough yet. Still pretty warm, but I can touch them. So I'm going to crack one open. Da, 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 da. Make it a hard boiled egg. Oh, yeah. Nothing like a freshly cooked hard boiled egg. That peels so well. Ah. Alright, turn this water off. Ooh. I'm going to dry the egg off because I rinsed the egg under the water. It's one of the things that I do to make sure there's not any pieces of crunchy shell on there all right so we got us a hard-boiled egg very nice hard-boiled egg put a little salt on it Oops, a little more than I wanted and I'll put a little pepper on it there's the there's the salt put a pepper on it yes Ooh, yeah a little salt on it, a little pepper on it let's see how it is mmm mmm that is a good oops that is a good egg. I'm going to make a mess with that salt and pepper. Oops, that was a lot more salt. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Cooked all the way through. Perfect egg every time. Problem with this egg cooker? It takes seven eggs. That is an oddball number. 
you know, since eggs come in sixes, dozens, 18 packs, 24 packs. They might even have a big 48 pack, but I don't know. It's very disappointing that it's an oddball number. And really, these hot, fresh eggs... I can eat way too many of these things because, you know, when they're fresh off the cooker, I'm telling you. <clears throat> now for cleanup, we're just going to take and rinse this off and wipe it down. And the same for, in, ooh, I'm drooling here. The same for inside here. I'm going to wipe that out, clean it up with a damp cloth, damp paper towel. Do not submerge it. Do not put it in the washing machine, dishwasher. Just clean it up with a wet paper towel, all that scum will come off. Mm. God, these things are great. All right, so have you ever had an egg cooker? Do you think an egg cooker's a stupid idea? If you had an egg cooker, would you cook eggs more often? <clears throat> In an upcoming video, what I'm gonna try is, I'll put eggs of various sizes, from the smalls to the extra larges to the larges to the jumbos. We'll mix them in there. We'll see how well they all cook. They should cook all the way through. Now remember, really quick, hard-boiled egg is you fill the water to the top, medium in sort of the middle, and then soft, you just put a little bit of water in there, and maybe we'll make a video showing how that actually works. Oh, I need to get another egg. All right, so leave your comments in the comment section. As always, thanks for watching. Beanmeister 22, the most dangerous man on YouTube.